it looks like I have nothing on. Leave it. <laughs> if it works, why are we changing it? <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> too much down here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we don't have much time. Let me move. <laughs> okay. Oh no, the pressure. I actually enjoyed that. I don't know about these. Let's try it out. Have you tried the Givenchy Prisma Libre Skin Caring Foundations? These were sent to me, so I don't know what they're gonna look like on my skin. I hope that they work. This is a skin caring glow foundation, and the shade is Neutral 480, I suppose. And this is the matte version. It's Neutral 490. As you can see, this is a frosted glass, and this is a clear glass. So you really don't know what's going on inside of here, but let's figure it out. Uh, already, I'm skeptical about this skin caring glow one because it's a light coverage foundation. You know, I like full. I can do medium, but I love a good full. You feel me? It's radiant. So it's giving light skin like perhaps it says that it's buildable, but how buildable is it? You feel me? So both of these are $55. I'm looking at the Sephora site right now. This matte one is medium coverage. So more up my lane. It's supposed to be waterproof, hydrating, matte and hydrating. Hmm. So comfortable. Are we talking satin? What are we talking now? Okay. It's supposed to blur imperfections for up to 24 hours. Let's see how these look on my skin. I will say right now, they're not enough dark shades. End of story. I mean, we've got one, two, three that I would consider dark. Outside of N480, this one shade above this, which is N490. Not enough, okay? Let's see what's happening here with this one. Duty to blend it into the skin. Because this is gonna give a skin-like finish, I can just see it shearing out, hence why I'm doing this. I mean, it is looking pretty. This is deep with yellow undertones. I mean, it's melting into my skin, what do you think? I think it looks pretty. All right, that's option one over there. I wonder how this would look all over my face though, like because the blemish is here and here. I wonder what that would look like. And then on this side we have N490, which is the darkest shade. Also, not enough options. Let's see how this looks. This is deep rich with neutral undertones. I like how this one looks. You know I like to go darker on my skin tone. You know how much I love that. I love how this one looks. It is matte, so I'm biased. <laughs> Oh, I like how this one looks already. I like the deepness. Yes, this matches, but it looks too skin-like. Let me explain. If you want your skin to look skin-like with your complexion product, let's say I wasn't gonna put any other makeup on except for this, maybe a light powder, this could work because it looks like I have nothing on. It looks good. They both match me. Wow, they match me well. Thank you, Givenchy team. Y'all match me well. When I was looking at it, I was like, what is going on here? They both match me well. This is no other makeup, looks really great, can just walk outside the house. This is going to put foundation on because as you can see yes it's matching my chin and jawline really well but once i get over here it's gonna look a lot darker than the middle of my face which is fine i like that because i'm going to do my highlight and contour routine so i'm gonna put back the shadows highlight the areas that need to be highlighted <laughs> made that up and then it's all gonna come together you feel me i would never put on foundation by itself and then go outside i just don't do that for me it's full face or nothing so when i use a shade like this it's gonna come with a full face and it'll all come together we're gonna do it right now now i'm not gonna wipe off my skincare and mess up my whole situation because that does matter so i'm gonna just leave it oh <laughs> this is fluid girl oh hold on i gotta balance this side out okay i you know i never used to just squirt my foundation onto my face like this i'm acting brand new i'm gonna use this lys foundation brush which i used to just use for my contour i usually go with a flat kabuki this one is less dense than a traditional kabuki and it's more rounded and i like it yes you see this shade <laughs> I like it, okay? This is what I do. Do what you do, you feel me? Now, I did take too much seeing how this is spreading. Paper towel in front of me, let's wipe off the excess, okay? Then go around the hairline. We're not trying to cake this into the hairline, but we do want it to meet. We do want the foundation and the hairline to meet, hello? Because, hello, we just don't want it to look too wild. And that goes for no matter what shade I use, it's not just because the shade is darker. Yeah, I could certainly go lighter, but watch. Watch me work, okay? And this gonna look so good in the summertime, too. So good. Now this is supposed to be matte. It's not just about this side where I tried out the glow version. Even on this side, my skin is dewy. Is this gonna dry down? I've got some new beauty sponges from Beauty Blender. This is a holiday gift set. It's a blend and bake set, okay? Little Wonders blend and bake set. So let's rip this open. It's giving $38 value and it's for $30. Zales. Cute stock and stuff up. It comes with Prep Plump and Hydrate Boost Primer. Got it. And then you got the powder puff and a sponge. Let's soak this up. For concealer, let's use these LYX Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealers. Woo, lots of words, honey. Here we have DPG1. 
and right here under the eyes i need this to be golden because the foundation is clearly neutral and really dark so i like to balance all this out with the right concealer the undertone just has to be right i would never put on a neutral shade undertone with this for instance i was gonna use this black opal one but it's way too neutral almost like red undertone don't need that need to give some goldenness to the face okay and this is so thin thin but high in pigment okay so you have concealers that are thick creamy almost this one is more thin but the pigment is still there and this is melting into my skin Ooh, we add some more See how that melted into my skin and it just looks so stinking good. I mean, you can't even tell that my foundation was too dark in the beginning, right? I'm gonna make this concealer a lot lighter in a sec. I really need it to pop some more. Let's get this on. Right head down the middle of the face. I remember this concealer being one that is beginner friendly because it's so thin and it melts right into the skin. Definitely beginner friendly. This highlight is not too drastic, but it's there. If you lift your head up like this, you can see if there are any harsh lines from the concealer to make sure that nothing is just gonna be looking wild, okay? Let's make this a little bit lighter with the same concealer. This is the shade DG6, okay? Right up in here. And yes, my sponge is damp. I did squeeze out 90% of the water, okay? So that it can blend my concealer really well. I know some of you enjoy your sponge completely dry. That'll give you a lot more coverage than if it was damp, but I don't like no dry sponge. I think this looks really good. Let's get our contour together. We gonna contour with LYS also. LYS is just doing the thing I think of me. I know, I am a creature of habit, okay? If it works, why are we changing it? I feel like my contour has been in the wrong place for a very long time. So lately, instead of putting my contour here, I've been putting it here, okay? Okay, <laughs> so here we are, just above, because then when I blend it, it's going to inevitably go down, you feel me? Along the perimeter of the hairline. And then we are gonna blend this into the hairline, especially since my hairline is faint, you know? It's just life, girl, my hairline be going through it. <laughs> This just so happens to be the brush that I was using for my contour in the past. Let's wipe off some of the foundation and then blend this contour in because I like the size of it and it's just so comfortable. It blends really well. So as I'm pressing it, I'm pushing it back into my hairline. Now, I like how my skin's looking so far. I did the contour, as you can see. I like how it's looking. I mean, it's it's looking like the Gucci foundation where it's giving satin. It honestly is. I mean, you see a nice, healthy, delicious sheen. I'm moving my head around the light to see it. Don't you see a nice, delicious, healthy sheen on my skin? I like how this looks a lot. I know y'all have tried this because uh, I haven't, and I can't believe I haven't. The Hourglass Luminous Veil, this is an OG product. It's been around for a minute. <laughs> you girls just not getting around to it. Let's close it. Get some in the cap, put the excess back. Okay, let's see what she's talking about. Okay, she's such a light translucent sister. This is the LYS concealer brush. Let's take some of this and tap off the excess. Ooh, I got, I got a lot. Okay, back of the hand, let's do that. Pat it on the back of the hand, because I don't know how this is gonna look. Let's make sure that there's no creasing here. And I'm going immediately under the eye for now because elsewhere I want to use a different powder. Now this is spreading a lot more than I wanted it to. I wanted it to go really right up in here, but that was that was me. Okay. Wait, okay, why is it leaving a cast? What? Is this or is this not translucent? What's happening? Is there some sort of shimmer to this? Is this the luminous veil? I'm confused, right? Isn't that a luminous veil? It, is, it just says veil. It just says translucent, translucent setting powder. All right, I am feeling like I need to take this down my whole face, but this is not normally what I would use. Should I work? Wood. Yeah, there is a little bit of luminosity to this. On the back of my hand, right? What do y'all like? Do y'all like this? <laughs> what y'all think about it? I mean, cause you know, normally right now is when I would do my luminous powder from Huda. I like the luminous look, hello. The same brush and the product and let's do what I normally do, okay? Okay, I think it can still work. <laughs> I know that this is gonna look real harsh, but don't worry, it's gonna all come together. I normally don't use this brush, so it's really packing it on more than usual. Maybe this is a good thing. I'm lightly doing this right here, because I recognize how I don't want it to look so stark when I come over here. Yes, right here, because I want to reverse highlight or reverse contour the nose, but not when I get to my cheek. I need this to be more fluffy, you feel me? All right, I gotta get that 
Lucas Vale situation another try or two. I just did not know what to expect with that. Elsewhere on my face, I'm gonna use this Milk Cosmetics Translucent Powder in the shade Medium, which shouldn't give me much color, but I just need something to set and, and intensify the highlight just a little bit more. I, maybe I should have used, I have Huda Beauty Kunafa setting powder, add some yellow, but sometimes that can backfire if it's too freaking bright. So that's why I said, let me go with this and I'm patting it on my hand also. I don't want to add too much, you feel me? A light layer. And I'm going over the brows so that when I do my brows, it's not greasy. And then for the face to balance, everything I'm gonna use is Kosa's Cloud Set Powder and the shade is Velvety. I'm gonna use this brush. This is from Lawless. This is a multi-use powder brush. I enjoy how this looks, you know, the whole shape of it. Let's go. I think the face looks more neutral than I would like. We still need to go forward, okay? For the blush, I'm gonna use Prima Donna from Dennis and Myricks. I enjoy this and I don't use it often. I normally go with the RNG color, which is Golden Hour. I don't have one right here, but let's use the butt of this sponge to gather some of this Prima Donna. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Yo, every time I put this on, I'm like, oh, Cause I'm so used to the orange, it doesn't look as harsh on the skin, but pink really, really pops. Okay, I did diffuse that a bit. You can see it, it looks pretty. By this time, my sponge, oh, this <laughs> so much down here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's, let's, let's clean this off and go. And then let's gather it, bring it up. We're cleaning off and blending to fix this clearly. I feel like I need more right here. This stuff is so pigmented. What in the best way? I was about to go the direction of maybe something light blue. This is the Amicole Liquid Matte Eyeshadow. But then now I'm so intrigued by the Fenty Shadow Sticks. This is the shade Cause I'm Black. And it looks like a like a metal, a metal black, something like a smoky eye to up my black top. Let's do that. <laughs> Last time I used this, it was a little something. Okay, I have long nails. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's see, let's rub this all over the eye. This should make doing a smoky eye very easy. See, yeah, this is more gunmetal. This is not black. You see my shirt and then this, it don't match. But I do like it, this is what I wanted. So we're going all over the eyelid right now and then we gonna blend. Did this give me time to blend last time? Probably not, oh my God. Now I do like my smoky eye to come up, you feel me? It does need to go close to the eyebrow, it just needs to. We're gonna make that area brown. See, I'm, I'm now doing blotting motions as I get over here because I don't want a harsh line. That's not my goal right now at all. Okay. Okay, we don't have much time. Let me move, let me move. Okay, let's use this type of brush, not so fluffy. So here I'm more so patting this area, but let's get a brush and blend some brown. Huda Chocolate Brown Eyeshadow Palette. Let's get the brown color into this crease. Okay, we need to blend this. What? This is the brown color on the palette, but let's get some warmth in here. Okay, that did take it over a little bit, but let's just stay here and add the brown. And then we're gonna go back with that black a little bit. I don't have a black eyeshadow because I could use this this black shadow stick as a shadow base, but I want it to be my actual eyeshadow today. Lightly feathering this into the crease here. Back with the black here. Let's blend out these tips. I call it tips, but I just mean basically the line of demarcation between the shadow stick and then the powdered shadow, which is the brown. I took the shadow stick and ran it underneath my waterline. That reminds me, I need to put eyeliner my eye inside my eyes because that'll make a difference, okay? Because otherwise, look, you have that lightness right there. It's not, it just doesn't blend. This is the Revlon So Fierce eyeliner. So do you see a difference? This waterline versus this waterline, you don't want that flesh tone there. At least that's not the vibe that I'm going for today. We're gonna balance out this under eye area because it's looking wild. So some of the brown color, <laughs> it's really bright. And now the dark brown. This is my first time using the One Size by Patrick Star Mascara. And I wonder how it's gonna look. If you use this, comment and let me know. Cause I wanna know, oh man, see, cause I did a smoky eye. You can't see my lashes well. Maybe you can in this camera. Mm -mm. I'll turn to the side in a sec so you can see. I mean, this is looking okay. Nothing revolutionary. I can see close enough to assess whether or not it's riveting. And this is, this is okay. I mean, this is good. It's not 
terrible. The look is almost done. I did my Fenty mascara on the bottom lashes. It looks so good. I love that Hello Thick mascara, honey. Now I'm gonna use this Fenty liquid lipstick and it's called Truth Fairy. I'm gonna use this on the inside of my lips. I do need to line the outer parts. So let's use Speak Love Liner from LYS. This is a beautiful brown. I wish it was a twist up, but I'll take it where it's at. This is a gorgeous brown. All right, so here's Truth Fairy from Fenty Beauty. Right here in the middle, see, yeah, it's not as bright. I've never used this. Oh, the color is beautiful. Mm, hold on, okay. It's popping more on my skin than I thought. Mm, hold on, <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm, I'm getting surprised. Hold on, wow. Mm, this is very interesting. It's a matte liquid lipstick, we get that. But don't you know that many times the liquid lipsticks go on wet and then they dry? This one went on dry. I actually enjoyed that. And I like the contrast from this coral peach to my pink cheeks. Do you see that? I like this. I did not know how, I thought this would be so dark, darker than what I want, then I would go with a lighter color on the inside. But no, I like how this is bouncing off my shoulders so beautifully. I like this shade, wow. Truth Fairy, number nine, Fenty Icon. Have you tried it? Wow, I'm blown away. What do you think about this look, girl? All links are below. Let me know what part of this you liked. I have to say now that the face has settled in some more, it's feeling dry. I can feel the magnification. I'm not uncomfortable, but I can feel it, okay? I wanna be clear. It's colder outside, so this is not the kind of foundation to wear on a very cold cool day. Okay, has to be a little bit warmer. Let me know if it's a product that you want me to try in a different video and I'll link another video for you to watch right here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.